I'm going to attempt to show you how to comb hair with nulls. So the first thing I've done is import a polygon that we're going to emit hair from. We'll need to then apply the hair effect to that polygon and pick the surface name that the hair is going to emit from. So we do that by looking at the surface of the polygon. Uh, it's called default cube one default. We'll just copy that name and paste it into the hair surface name here and you'll see some hairs coming out. I'm going to make that uh, black so that we can see that better. Let's get rid of the uh, perspective camera grid. So looks nicer. So here we have some hair coming out of a polygon. The combing works with nulls obviously so we'll need some. In tools I'm going to add a couple nulls and I'm going to unparent those from the object and I'm going to parent one to the other. This one will be the null comb parent and this will be the null comb. So in animate we'll just pick the comb null direction nulls parent which is co null comb parent and we'll just make sure that this object will rotate around so it's roughly the direction that we're going to want it and let's just put it at a funny angle so that it, it does something. So you'll see that it's not actually doing anything right now. What combing the combing direction does is influence the direction of the lay. And so we have to give the object some lay value. Um, we'll do 0.5 here. And now in the null, we will need to scale it a little bit in order to uh, make it work. Uh, oops, looks like I changed the direction of the parent. No, oh, no. No, that's right. Okay. So as you can see the, d the hair, the null is skewed this way so a lot of the hairs are now pointing out that way. And as we change the direction you can see that the hairs are now moving along with uh, the null with a, a particular fall off. So now if you change um, the X scale of the uh, null it increases the range of influence. When you increase the Y what you're doing is uh, increasing or decreasing the bias or the fall off. So very low values and it gives you a very hard cut off to where the influence is. And higher values will give you a very soft transition from the nulls influence to the what's underneath and the Z is the strength. So by utilizing the scaling of the null we can define different aspects of how the um, how much influence and and how far the influence is over the hair and obviously it wouldn't be very useful without the ability to uh, animate that. So we can animate that over time and we can also have multiple nulls uh, influencing the same geometry. So if we copy that and then move it you can see that this one works as well and they even uh, blend together fairly nicely. And you can define all the fall off independently on each null. So
So that is, in a nutshell, how uh, combing works uh, with nulls in hair in Messiah. I'm just playing around. So obviously you'd want to stick one of these on the ear and another one on the nose and and uh, or stick these nulls all over your character so that you can define uh, the lay the particular combing direction of your fur. The end.